Do you know what the most requested soft skill is of today? Resilience. Yeah, the ability to stick around and try again. It's everywhere now, it's trending. Every organization is asking for resilient employees. All the leadership talk right now is that we need to be resilient. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it, right? They're trying to stay alive. Their organization is trying to survive in a world where turnover is super high. Employees don't stick around for more than two, three years. Competitors come out of left field. The whole gradually then suddenly become shorter and shorter and you're in the suddenly before you even know it. Leadership is bound to ask for resilience. And it's a good narrative, it's a lot of buzzwords, it's a lot of promises to stakeholders, but at the end of the day, what does resilience truly mean? Is that something you're born with or is that something that you, um, you inherit over your upbringing? And is that a skill you can train or is that something you need to worry about during recruitment? All of which are good questions I gather, but let's start with the basics. What is resilience? The best way to describe resilience for me is found in the lyrics of a song from the 90s. And it goes something like this, I get knocked down, but I get up again, you're never gonna keep me down. Now, of course, don't go pissing the night away as it continues, but yeah, let's focus on that. It's the ability to get up again and keep trying and keep trying. I don't think you're born with that. I think that's a huge function of your upbringing, your whole life as it comes together, and then you get recruited to this organization, and if you're the kind of person who's just always gonna get up again and keep trying, you are resilient. But if you're a leader talking about wanting resilient employees in a resilient organization, maybe you need to pay attention to that definition. Because the only way you're going to get resilient employees is if you are the one who's putting their hand down, lifting them up again when they get down, instead of reprimanding them for falling in the first place. That's it. You need to be the one that models that behavior that says, it's okay to fail. It's okay to lose track. It's a, we're going to get up again together as a team and we're going to keep fighting. That's what I have to say on resilience.